guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. So this is our problematic waste area. It's not that problematic, it's actually working, it just doesn't have a high capacity. So, I think, instead of trying to rebuild this, I, I kind of had an idea that maybe what we do is we, we somewhere in the middle of this... Where's this guy going? What is this guy doing? Fire station? Why? What? Oh, it's coming in. I'm pretty sure it's come. It's just coming in to. Yeah, this is this is absolutely what useless. Coming in to fill up uh, with fuel over here. Anyway, forget about that. We that that little outpost there that's uh, selling oil um, to the west is uh, is really just not not doing much, and we'll have to go back go back for it a little bit later. Our cities here, however, are growing pretty nicely. Our population is almost at 19,000, but a reasonable unemployment, um, very healthy, very happy, um, and so on. Waste is an issue. Waste from over there is currently being um, exported. The industrial waste, we just cannot uh, accommodate at one of these facilities. So one of the things that I thought I would do is I'd build a mega, a mega waste processing facility, high capacity, and to to kind of do the waste for the entire region beyond maybe some of these local local areas here but what i'll do is i'll just get a mega area going and then from there the intent would be that we could do the entire um republic's waste in a central location not too sure where maybe here maybe maybe somewhere else maybe somewhere in on the side of the map or something yeah and the other thing that i thought we could do is we could actually then import waste and use that imported waste okay um, we'll get some money for it, but also at the same time we'll produce some stuff from it. I thought that'd be pretty good, pretty good way of doing some stuff. So that's one of the things that I'm thinking of doing. So at the moment we'll just keep um, exporting the waste that we, we're exporting, um, and we'll keep using this facility over here. I'll speed things up a little bit. We'll keep using this facility over here. We're currently constructing um, this bridge uh, infrastructure. Um, so that we'll get our, in, uh, our uh, that must be a new apartment building. We'll actually, let's have a look at it. Uh, yep, we've just kind of um, done that. But this area is probably not, um, doesn't have water on the likes just yet. So we probably shouldn't have let people move. Oh, actually, this one does. This one does have it. So it's just for us to expand here, that's be a bit of a problem. Okay, anyway, we'll keep going that. We need more workers. We'll finish off this interchange. We'll have a look at whether there's something we can do in this area, but maybe um, instead of doing that, we might just um, kind of cut across here or, or something. Use use this this interchange a little bit better. I don't think we need two interchanges. Uh, this is, in, in any case, a bit of a rural context. One of the things that I did think of afterwards is that we should probably do a better... Um, a better uh, access point here, which is something that I think we can do um, with with the um, with these little one lane one lane things. So a, a better right in right out situation there. But we'll uh, we'll slowly get there. One of the other things that I thought we should uh, be starting is nuclear power, and I kind of originally thought I'd do it across the river here, but um, the thing that we don't have across the river is workers where over here we will have access to workers from this um, facility um, so they can probably walk up to about there right and if I look at this side we've got plenty of workers waiting and ready to go they're well educated and we can expand this area with some more um, some more buildings as well so that we can load this up a little bit better. I think that's actually pretty good. And that'll give us a solid stream of workers. So I'm thinking nuclear power over here. Nuclear power over here is what I am thinking. So let's uh, clear all of these messages out. None of them I think is pretty, is really serious. That's okay. Hoping we can get that a little bit better over time. Now, what are we doing with nuclear? Uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll kind of show what I think I'm going to do here. A lot of chemicals as well. Um... Twin reactor. Twin reactor takes um, 120 workers, which I think we can quite easily do with the um, with the cable car there. But we can also, of course, just you know use half of its capacity. But that is a lot of power. So what is that? 9,360 megawatt hours gives us 9,000. Sorry, 9,360. Yeah, right. Yes, divided by 60. 
gives us, wow, 156 megawatts. So we can really power the entire uh, place if we, if we use this thing at full capacity. Of course, we, we don't have to do it at full capacity. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. Twin reactor nuclear power plant. Um, and we're flipping it, uh, moving it around that way, moving it this way. There we go. Something like that is kind of what I had in mind. So we can use this open area in, over here for, um, for loading and unloading facilities. And we will have to do cooling towers. Let's try and line it up with the road as best we can. I think that's probably going to be about it. So my idea would be to put it in here fairly close to the road on this side so we can maximize our facilities on the other side and then of course what I would like to do for something like this for something as important as this uh, we will be putting a bit of a fence around it so let's um, why does it need to do as much terraforming anyway there we go we'll do that I think Let's have a look at what that kind of looks like. I don't think this is under construction just yet. We should be able to get something across there. We'll definitely be able to get some road connections through here. So I think the next step is for us to kind of get a road fairly close there. Um, we could do... Uh, uh, we could even do a train station here in the future if we if we needed it. So what I would like to do is just see about tying that one in. Maybe something like that. Uh, hang on. Let's trim that back again. I think that is kind of what I what I want. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Let's sorry. Let's go back. Do that again. Hug the uh, hug the railway uh, over here. Get this as close to that as possible. Straighten it up there and hug that one. That is going to be um, that is going to be our nuclear um, facilities uh, kind of outlines. I'll get us an uh, access point. If we get in here, we would like um, a fence gate. And let's just have a look. So uh, if we go here, there's plenty of others, but the others are not as as proper as this. So let's get ourselves a fence gate and. I think we need this direction. I want to put it pretty close to the edge there. We'll do something like that. Okay. And that'll be it. Uh, we might um, give ourselves a little bit of extra room here. Now, what we need, this needs nuclear fuel, right? That's the only thing this needs, uh, apart from like water and things. So our import product is nuclear fuel. So nuclear fuel is stored... If we wanted to have a bit of a look at storage, open storage does not do nuclear fuel. So it has to be a warehouse, right? Warehouse does nuclear fuel? No. Oh, it's a space for vehicles that does nuclear fuel. Can't see it, but it's a space for vehicles that does nuclear fuel. Let's come back over here quickly, have a look. Have we pushed through to this side? This is a space for containers or vehicles. So that's it. Uh, it's not going to push through just yet. There's still plenty of room in here. Right? There's plenty. There is plenty of stuff there. Yeah, this is moving along nicely. This is moving along nicely. We will have so much power over that. Okay, so we need a facility for, um, for vehicles. So storage... For vehicles, so if we go back to storages, storage for vehicles, space for vehicles and containers, the small one, wow, that's the small one, the, oh, this is the small one. Um, now, what I like about this guy, how much does that actually take? How many containers? Parking spots for vehicles, stations for loading, unloading. But it doesn't actually tell you how many. This one, on the other hand, has a lot more room. So if we were to do that, uh, actually, we could get this. Thinking something like. If we let's have a look at that, if we do that, right, 
and then I definitely uh, want a helicopter drop off. So we want not that. We want this guy. If we do, ooh, actually, have a look. Let's see. Can we do? Oh, this won't work. That would have been because that means we could actually get. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, let's try and multi multi use this thing. So let's get rid of that. See if we can't get use this space a little bit more effectively. Um, give me uh, this guy. And the idea is going to be that we do. Yeah, that just doesn't want to. Doesn't want to give us the. That's actually pretty good. We, we could we, if we could make we could potentially make this work. And then, of course, what I would like to do is just make sure we. So if we do that, let's, let's have a look, and we then get the space for vehicles. Um, potentially the big one. So if we did... I think this'll, this will... I think this will work. So if we did that... I think that'll actually work. And we should be able to tie that in. All right, so we'll get that to work. Um, and if we were to get our road connection in over there, I'm actually tempted to... I don't think we need a loading facility here. It's such a low... It's such a low volume. So what I'm kind of wondering is, instead of getting something going on over there, what we can do is we can get a bit of a bus stop going here. Just in case we need it in the future, right? We'll do. We'll do something like that. That's going to be just fine. And we'll tie that one in there. So then we can get access over there and we should be able to make this entire thing work. Plus, I can maybe try and get another gate in here. Maybe not there. Yeah, this is going to be... So, we could... We could use one of the other gates, of course. But I would prefer maybe to use this one. Yeah. There's something like this. If we were to do that... Uh, ooh, actually, we need, to, we need to have this a little bit more... We can't, we can't do that unless we, yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So if we were to do this, right, can we get that connected? We can. Can we get this connected? We can. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll get that in place and then we should be able to actually um, kind of fence this thing around. So let's get the next thing we're going to do is let's get the fences going. Uh, we would like a fence over here. We're going to go with the with the walled fence. This is a this is a nuclear power facility. Oh, hang on! Before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, I'm actually going to go and get um, get the the um, the watchtowers. Um, they were monuments, right? Were we getting these guys? We will uh, we'll sort that out a little bit later. Or are we going to get the the square ones? I like the square ones. What did we use um, over here? Ooh. You hold shift and you um, and you push the, uh, the the arrow keys, the W A S D. Yeah, it, it kind of flies through. Uh, we did the rounded ones here. So let's do the square ones on the other side. Oh, I actually like the rounded ones a little bit. We're gonna make, it's going to be much better than that one. Let's make sure that we're properly securing that area. We'll, yeah, we'll try the square ones this side. 
get them to work a little bit better here. So what I would like to do, that is a gatehouse. And so maybe somewhere um, in the middle over there to try and get it to work. And uh, I will do, ooh, I don't know if we're actually going to get much through here. Um, there's a gatehouse there. So whether we need something else on that side, I'm, I was thinking we probably need a little something down down this stretch here, pretty close to the road there. That's pretty good. Um, we'll need another maybe around this area here. We need a pet gate. So there will be a pet gate of sorts in this location. And um, so in between the two pet gates, we'll get uh, get these going. So we will we'll have the pet gate um, properly monitored, the pedestrian gate, I think. Yeah, we'll get that properly monitored in this area. That's fine. Um, and then on this side, we don't want to, we don't want to be interfering with our, with our cable connections. So let's, uh, let's put one right over there and then probably we'll do one right in the corner here. I think actually that's going to be really cool to just have that there. So that's it. And then the only thing that I think we're probably missing is, uh, is this area here. So let's try and, oh, actually, Let's get it on the corner on that side too. Uh, and the one thing we need to just bear in mind is that we're going to try and get um, that thing to work. So let's have a quick look if we can. Assuming that will work. And I'm assuming, yeah, that's okay. So we'll get that connected. So that at the very least we can pick up some, some stuff here. And we've got the three there. Actually, that will be really good for us. So we'll use that for construction. Uh, this is a, this is a loading facility. So it's just, yeah, anyway, I don't know if that's going to be really useful, but we might be able to get some things going there. So that's pretty cool. We'll get some fuel and stuff in there. Uh, we've got the one here. We've got this one over there. We've got the gate house. We've got the gate house and another, we've got another there and there. The only one, oh no, no, we've got one over here. So let's just uh, finish that off. Am I pausing? Don't pause. Don't worry about pausing it. We'll continue the journey. So I'm trying to go pretty straight there and then we'll uh, connect it like that. We'll make it a little smoother there. Um, we'll run that one there. There we go. That's working. A treat. <gasps> This might be problematic. No, it's not. Now, the issue that we have here is we won't actually get access to any of this. Uh, we'll get the we'll get the um, we'll get the helicopters to do them. I'm pretty sure that'll work. That's okay. That one will run all the way there. Uh, we'll need a gate in, in here, so let's get ourselves a little pedestrian, a pedestrian, a fence gate. Uh, hang on. They're all just called fence gates, right? I'm a little, I'm a little perplexed as to how that one will work. This is weird. So that, that's not right, is it? Something's funny going on there. Um, alternatively, oh, this is a snapping one. Okay, okay, okay. What we... Oh, but we do need to... Okay, okay, okay. So let's just get this going. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's get um, our paths moving. moving. We'll do that. And that'll, that'll be our paths there. And so with that in place, I think we can now 
place one of these fence things across it, right? So it'll it'll now work like that, basically. I'm keen to do that, so that'll work. Um, and what we need to do is just extend our our wall there and turn it like so. Yeah, so they will be monitored as they get through there. We'll run it through all the way here. We'll tie it in on that side. We'll run it, try and run it nice and close to uh, the road there. And we'll come in over here, run it all the way to the edge there, make a bit of a turn in that space, and we will do that. There we go. So and now a nice and a nice walled nuclear power plant. There we go. That's pretty cool. I am We could get to this one. We're not going to get uh to that one unless we can assign. Let's just see if we can assign um the helicopters here. Uh it was my worry we cannot assign the helicopters. So what we'll need to do um, is we'll need to build uh, this one first through, uh, so let's, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the fence. Where's the fence? The fence over here. Just going to trim this section of fence up to there so that we can um, get a little path in here and get it built basically. Uh, this one should be workable, but we should also be able to get a path in here if we needed it, but I'll, I'll double check it. Oh, my goodness, even that one can't work? That is not ideal. Not ideal at all. But what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll have to run um, Actually, we could we could run Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, take that one out and give me this guy. That's going to look really cool. We're obviously not going to get beyond there. If we do that, okay, this one's going to be by itself. That one. Again, probably just by itself, yeah. Wanna go along with this. There we go, something like that. And what we can then also do, of course, is trim this one back a little. And we will continue to run that. Um, over here. So let's bring it a little further away from that. And, uh, ooh. So I think we should still be able to get some cabling out there. We'll do something like that. That'll work, and we should have all of this powered, and that's the only one that's now not um, actually tied into anything, but I think that's pretty cool. Citizens happiness too low. I'm assuming again. Ooh, where is this? Let's just check it out. It might be. Ooh, what's going on? What are you missing? You have everything you need. So why is it this low? I mean, have we got meat? Got food? Oh, are we out of food? Oh, we've, we've got food. We've got everything we need, really. Why is? Why are you so unhappy? It's the alcohol thing, isn't it? It's a little weird. I'm not uh, I'm not too fussed by that just yet, but we will have to keep an eye on it. Keep uh, keep running up to 20 million now. Um so I think that's about it. So what I can do is I can um go ahead and say start construction of planned infrastructure. There we go. Everything is going. 
now let's uh, let's get cracking on uh, on making this work so uh let's get some let's get uh, get some guys to start building this uh what i might do is i might just pay for that little section because this is um these little small sections is tediously painful to build so i might just um build those little sections and we'll uh make sure the rest kind of the rest should be fine. Uh, what I might do is I might also build um, all of these. Just the paths, I think. Okay. So with that in mind, um, everybody should be starting construction. Termoilski. Um, keep going. We'll just let commotion off start, um, start coming. This. Oh, this is done. Okay. Now, while this is done... So now everybody can make a move in here. What I wanted to do is I just want to quickly rebuild um, a little stretch of this. So if I did that, I'm not going to do the demolish thing. I'm just going to say, pay for that uh, section. Uh, I might have to, I might have to trim it back even further. Actually need to pause this. So let's pause that. Let's trim that out. Now, um, what I kind of wanted to do... Um, I don't think that'll work, but maybe this'll work. Oh, beautiful. So something like that should be absolutely fine. Um, that's getting built. Nice. I like it. So that should be pretty cool. I want to do a very similar thing on this side. So let's do this. So it's just going to be a little easier to deal with. So we'll do that. We'll pay for getting that um, out of the way. Pause it again, and we'll um, get rid of that. Uh, we'll get rid of uh, that section there. Now this one might be a little bit more challenging. We might actually have to trim it back even further. But if we were to come out here and to oh no, it works, and we'll do a little bit extra, and we'll bring it in over there, and we will pay for that. So there we go. Now we've um, we're basically sorting this out a little bit better. So that's much better. So now everybody's got some access going on over here. I uh, wouldn't mind just uh, making sure, ooh, 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 ooh. just making sure we do this and that, but I think this is going to be pretty low volumes altogether. Anybody getting off over here? Not yet. I haven't actually seen anybody use any of this. But anyway, that should be good. Now we don't need that piece anymore and we can actually make a start on construction here. So let's get the helicopters to start here and also we'll um, we'll start getting a few other bits and pieces going. So uh, get, get, get cracking on, on whatever you can, basically. Uh, none of this seems to want to be accessible. So we'll see how that goes, to be honest. There's not much more we can do at this stage, but the helicopters will start bringing people in over here. Uh, we've got uh, builders coming in. That's okay. So at least that means we can actually easily get people to walk all the way here. I do like it. Oh, one more thing. I'm pretty excited about it. They're saying that the update, they're making the night much, much lighter. So I think that's going to be pretty cool um, to see that happening. Okay, now, uh, so that we can actually uh, work with the day-night cycles. That would be awesome. So at least now we'll be able... Oh, actually, we can get... Sorry, we can get uh, Termolsky Construction Office to come and um, do some work over here, please. They are still building this, right? No, that's all done. Hmm. So, the next piece of this puzzle is to start working on this. Um, and just before I do that, let's just get rid of that node there so we can do this whole stretch in one go. There we go, and we'll get a uh, Termolski instruction crews to come and come and work on that little piece there, and we'll try and maintain connectivity on this side. So what I might do is I'll just uh, not do that. I'll just uh, quickly pay for the upgrade of this section here. That's all good. So now we can actually gain access on that side. We'll get some workers to come over here. This will slowly get, uh, get constructed over time. Excellent. So that's the first thing that I wanted to do in this episode. And so that will start moving. 
Um, we will need to plan out what we're going to do with all of this power once it gets out here. Oh, before we, the piece that we're missing at this stage is uh, we need water. So what I'll do is I'll get another small water well. Actually a little bit closer here, to be honest. Uh, it cannot go here. Why? Oh, because there's, ooh, there's stuff there. Okay, so what I'll do... I'm actually going to do another little section of water well here. So something like that, basically. We will uh, construct it in there uh, with one of these. That's okay. And we'll get some piping going on where we will be able to... Uh, and I do need... Do I need to... I think, I think this will work, actually. But no, let's just... Let's just make sure we've got our pump forwarding station ready to go. We only really need the one here. We'll do that. Uh, we'll make sure to get that guy over there. And so now we'll have water directly into this facility. Did I... I wonder... I can't remember if we actually had water... I don't think this guy um, is actually reaching it, is it? No, it's not. So we might have to do a little bit extra with regards to water there, but we'll we'll have to see how that goes. Now, the other thing we need to do is look at sewage. So our sewage network, um, we do have an access point there. So presumably, where is our sewage connection? Let's just have a look. I'm hoping we can make the sewage connection work. Um, so if we went sewage... Hmm... Requires proper slope drop, so it's, we're not going to get this to work over here. If we did this, it doesn't actually want to do that. Okay, um, I don't want to necessarily get rid of everything, so let's just get rid of that, please. Thank you. Um, so really, the only other thing we can do here is to just make sure we put a bit of a drop in here. We will have this powered. Maybe over there, so it's powered from both sides, really. Uh, actually, probably over here is best. Um, and we're going to flip it around so it gets the access point from over there. But if we do this, can we make it work? We can make that work, and I'm pretty sure we'd be able to make this work. We'll do that, so at least we get a sewage connection to go out this way, and ultimately, if that doesn't work, we can run it all the way back over there too, so that's going to be fine. So let's uh, activate that for construction. All of this is uh, kind of starting to go. Um, what I will do is I will go ahead and pay for that section there, and we will need to put a little path in over here. And what we can do is we can get um, these guys to make a start on that infrastructure there. Uh, I would definitely want to make a start on... Uh, this probably needs to be helicopter construction, to be honest. There we go, that's underway, but at the same time we can also do that and uh, and maybe we can even get Komoshinovsk to make a little bit of a... Uh, support that a little bit more. Excellent. Citizens happiness is too low, it's the same building. Let's just go back. Um, it's again this building here, it's still at 50. So I'll, it's not it's not dropping too significantly, but we do need to have a look at trying to improve that happiness a little bit. So this construction can merely go on its way. We don't actually need this power just yet. Um, so that's the one thing that can continue over there. Everything else I think is manageable. What's going on here? Um. We cannot do mixed waste. Oh, we're full actually. We're full up on on all of this really. Okay, that's fine. What's going on over here? That's pretty good. Okay, all of this is, is in is in a reasonable position. This should be working. 
Oh, we've got tons of uh, waste here. Let's um, let's up our um, let's up these guys. What is this? Oh, this is the mixed waste that needs to get out. These are trying to unload mixed waste, so more people should um, move through this. Yeah. Are we getting through this at a reasonable We're not winning, are we? Uh, I think we're I think we're emptying these guys out now. So now we should be winning. That's okay. What was that? Uh missing some stuff? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. Okay, that's good. What's happening here with our pollution? Yeah, it's pretty polluted over here. It's pretty polluted. Um demolition has gone quite nicely um in this area. So I'm thinking we can also do a bit of a demolition job um, over here. Uh, what, do we, what do we want to do? We wanted to um, trim that one out and we wanted to uh, trim this out at least. Let's do that. So we'll get those demolished. Um, and then I think we can quite comfortably uh, make a start on trimming this out to about there and that out to about there. So. We can we can make a start on those guys. We'll also get rid of that. So now um, this is looking pretty good. Oh, we um, definitely get rid of that. We can get rid of this guy. We can get rid of that guy. And there's some other bits and pieces that we might be able to get rid of. Um, so let's just get uh, get a move on on this one also. Uh, shall we? It's just. Um, yeah, we, we, we would like to get rid of all of that. Okay. Start moving it along, and uh, then we can build a new road section through here. With lots of helicopters and things doing their thing. Okay, excellent. Now, I think what I want to do now is I want to also... Oh! We've actually started work on some of these. Some of these. I like it. Yeah, lots of concrete and stuff already dropped off over here, and we're slowly building it. We don't seem to have... Oh, yeah, we've got, like, one of these little guys doing its thing. Presumably, this will be done shortly, and we can make a start on this. Actually, let's get see if we can't get the helicopters to start there. And um, as soon as that's done... Is this done? So I think now we should be able to get the Moilski to start work on that also. I like it. I like it. Get moving, guys. Get moving. I like it. This is coming along nicely. Okay. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is have a bit of a look at what we're doing over here. Now, we do have a starting point for our roads to go down. But before we get into that too much, we are actually after um, this massive bauxite uh, get rid of that. We, this is the view we're after. So we've got a big bauxite facility over here. So let's uh, or, or bauxite reserve. So if we wanted to do a bauxite mine, it's up here somewhere. Okay, so at least it's not in our way, but we will need to flatten things out a little bit. So let's let's get our road to go that way and our rail to go that way. We may need to do a little bit more in this area. This might be our bauxite processing facility and into a town um, over here, I think. That might be how we do it. So I don't know if this will actually work. I don't think we've got... Yeah, we don't have any um, free excavators around. This... Sh hmm. We could get our excavators over here. It's the same building, I'm pretty sure. It's the same building. So if we were to move these guys over, right, we're not using them over here anymore. This can quite happily continue its journey. So what I would like to do is get another one of these free depots. Maybe I'll just even bring it all the way down there. So I would like a bit of a free vehicle depot. I think we should have one. Yeah, we've got one available. I'll move it all the way down there. That should be fine. As a starting point, we'll just get this guy to do that. Um, <clears throat> and we'll move all of them over this way so that we can do a bit of uh, work there. So let's just um, change the workplace of all of these guys to go over there for me. So it'll take them a little bit of time to get here. 
and then we can make a start on this. So we'll have to flatten something out over there to get room for a bauxite mine. Um, what is next after we've got the mine? The mine needs 45 people. The processing plant needs 25 people. And then the alumina plant. Maybe we won't do that. Maybe we just go from raw bauxite. Okay. To uh, So that is raw bauxite to bauxite. Okay. Yeah. So we at least reduce the amount. So I think a little something like this in terms of our planning. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, so let's do that as a starting point. Just a little bit of planning on the side of the hill here. Um, we will then, of course, need to... So from there, we need alumina and aluminum which may be able to go over here on the other side of the road. Um, we might have to have a bit of a look at that. This, um, so bauxite needs an open storage, I would imagine. Yeah, bauxite needs an open storage. So wouldn't mind having a bit of a buffer in place here. So I'm thinking something like this. And... Yeah, okay, that's okay. We could run the rail to the back of it. We could keep it a little higher and run it to the back of it. So that's one thing that we could do. Um, certainly we'll, we'll run a little bit of road here. Um, if we then said we wanted to instead do our alumina plant. Um, ooh, what's the... Ooh, it's pretty. it's pretty polluting. So if we did flip it around, do that, yeah, 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 yeah. If we do this, I don't I wouldn't actually mind that. We could get yeah, I could get some facilities here. If we do that, okay. And then after the alumina plant, how many workers is that? Whoa, that's a lot. So we'll need a rail to drop people off there. And then we've got another 350 over here. And even more stuff there. So um And aluminum definitely needs some more some more stuff. So, um, okay. So from here, um, I'm thinking we need we need one of these dry bulk storages. Probably just that is going to be sufficient. Yeah. So I think something like that's probably going to work there. Okay, I don't know if we need any better stuff then than that. Okay, and then we'll get this guy over here. Uh, it might be might be like that instead. Both of these need wor workers though, so if we're gonna do the worker thing, we might have to um, squeeze that uh, that rail line down the middle there. Uh, actually, yes. So if we were to do a little something. If we were to do something like this, right, we may, may have to. Yeah, that might not quite work out for us. Have we seen any vehicles arrive here yet? Not quite. Um, yeah, so I think town over here somewhere. Right, a small little a little town that's gonna manage our aluminum facilities. Okay, so rail. We'll need a little bit of rail. Um, I would like uh before we get to rail though, we need a facility to um store aluminum. So that's gonna be the one here, right? It could be that one there. Yeah, I think that's probably about the right. We'll just do that. All right, we'll do that. So we've got some um, access there. We'll have to see about the rail though. Um, and then we'll need a station to um, give us um, uh, give us access to workers. But if we had the station over here though.
Yeah, let's uh, let's bring this a little closer though. Just thinking, if we bring this closer, we can have the rail station um, over here. So let's get that going. So if we were to say rail station, station platform, please. Uh, I kind of like that. So this will, oh, and if we do it here, we need some workers down there. It should be okay. Yeah, and we, we'd be able to get up to the mine with a little tunnel under there. I think that's actually pretty good. So let's get this reasonably close here. I think that's okay. If we were to do, yeah, yeah, let's get it pretty close there. So if we did that as a train station in this area, that's okay. And then the next one, we would like uh, to bring these a little closer. So let's get planning on this facility. Oh, and hang on, let's just have a look. So um, let's assume, so we're getting, let's assume we get 75 out of that. Uh, so that's actually pretty good. And then this guy uses 33, oh, produces 33 aluminum, alumina. Okay, so we can actually have two of those in order to make this guy work. So the question is really, can we run it to the other side? So if we do, ah, we do this. That is, I think the idea. So we'll just do that. So we have an extra one there in case we wanted to up our, uh, our numbers, because this will work on this side. And then let me get that plant in here. And I can actually move it a little bit closer down here now. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Have we seen anything? Oh, they're filling up again. What are you guys doing? You're just going to fill up? Yeah, okay, that's okay. Pull up over there. And uh, and then we get this guy in this location. And we should quite comfortably have all this, wor all this be workable. And then we'll have our facility over here to pick it up with. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's get those guys to come back. Uh, we will need to run some rail. Let's just get... Our rail guys straight through there. Okay, so I'm not too sure. I'm probably going to do one-way loops again. If we were to run, then run one like that and tie that one in over there. Ah, and we could, we could maybe get something to, hmm, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. This guy, these guys back, they're back. Okay, now let's get the rest of the Illumina facilities going. So if we wanted to tie it in just like that, just want to try and level it a little bit more. We'll do that one. We'll end. Uh, we'll uh, we'll demolish that. We don't need that one. We'll just get that in place. We'll don't worry about that. I don't want to. I want to suspend any construction on that one. I'm going to start off on this side, um, but then we will be able to. Uh, but that means we need to do double this, right? Let's just uh, let's just double have, have a look here quickly. So if we were, yeah, it means we need two of them. And if we do 0.5 tons of bauxite per, for, uh, per worker, so that gives us uh, 45 workers times 0.5 gives us, ooh, we need multiple mines. We need multiple mines. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that. So that's 22.5 at full capacity. So the question really is, 
how many of these mines can we squeeze in here and will we even have a oh actually we can have a pretty reasonable number of mines down up here i think oh yeah 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 we can have we can have multiple mines if we flatten the stuff out a little bit up here so let's uh let's let's plan for that uh we could just do um multiple of these facilities and then obviously we need to run uh we do need probably a uh, another facility over here yeah we'll see about that but we need uh, let's let's start off by getting our our road to work so if we were to do a little bit of this yeah that's good Good, try and get this stuff. Yeah, that's what I want. Just try and give us a reasonable slope there. I think that's pretty reasonable, to be honest. Uh, it's down there right at the bottom. A little, yeah, there we go. I think that's okay. Um, I can't actually try and tie it from, oh, I could. We try and tie it over here a little bit. So if we were to so that could give us um, a rail connection to the back there. That's pretty good. I like that. That should be pretty comfortable in terms of our our road access so let's um go straight for a while and then we'll turn it like so there we go so something like that will give us our road connection to that side we could run a rail to both sides though have a bit of a look at our rail connection here i'm pretty comfortable to just go straight out for a for a little section there Okay, now the question is, do we try and run the rail to the back of that so it doesn't actually interfere with everything here? Because it's also going to interfere on this side. So maybe, maybe what we need to do is uh, try and level things just a little bit here. So level the rain from the center just a tiny bit, like that, at that kind of height there for our rail track. Right? And I, I kind of like that idea. So if we then say running rail track there should be pretty comfortable. Okay. And then what we're going to plan to do is do that. That's good. Get the next one in there. Really? Uh, what I'll do is I'll again just grab this guy and just take it, level it from the center as small as we can. Okay, that should look a little bit better. Try and get this guy. That's pretty good. And that guy over there, that's pretty good. I like that. That splits it off a little bit. It makes a pretty nice little area here. Probably close to the end of the episode now. We'll have to have a look. This is going to get really complex really soon. Uh, let's do that. Try and give ourselves a little bit of room here. Um, and then the idea really is that this area here is becoming our our new city area so uh, we will need to let's just start off with the bauxite mines first so if we wanted to just level from the center make it a little bit bigger and we're just going to try and level these out a little bit so we can get our bauxite mines to kind of work here maybe uh maybe we i'm kind of i like the idea of doing it that way but um but if we were to try it Something like this instead.
But the idea is obviously that we would need to somehow get get the road connections to it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to level this area here a little bit and what I might do for leveling this see yeah this actually goes back quite a distance okay what I'm gonna do now um, I think for the time being let's quickly just activate all of our infrastructure here um, it may or may not start construction so that's okay um, actually, to be honest, just in case, let's suspend construction there. I don't think, oh, yep, no, let's suspend this construction as well. And let's suspend that construction. Go back. Um, we don't need that just yet. So we'll get some mines over here. We need, how many do we need? Um, oh, actually, we need like five of them fully loaded to be able to, yeah, we definitely need a rail, strong rail um, connectivity here. So the question really is, if we wanted to run rail off here to go underneath and turn in there well it might be good because we can bring in workers from the other side so we'll have a little bit of a play around and see if that can, can be manageable but what i'm going to do now i'm just going to say i'm going to auto build with rubles anything that i'm going to do and the idea is really that i want to um do a little bit, go a little bit quicker with regards to leveling this stuff out. Even if it's going to cost us money, I'm not too, I'm not going to be too pedantic about it. Uh, don't do that. Try and try and stay on the, on the roughly the same level, please. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't mind a little bit of. No, 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 no. Just, just stay roughly on the same level. That's a massive, that's a good one. Push that back a little bit more, push that back a little bit more. Yeah, so leveling this out a little bit is a, is a bit problematic. So what I'm going to do, I'll in between episodes, I'm going to kind of end the episode here. We'll go and have a look at our, in between episodes, I'll kind of get all of this terra, uh, terraformed um, in, a, in a reasonable way so that we can actually start looking at what this facility would look like. Um, for our alumina, aluminum production and then uh, maybe a little bit of a city in this area here in between these mountains with them. Um, we could do gravel over here. Uh, oh, we've actually got a border post right over there. Actually, this would be really good for us. Uh, though, I think, ooh, what's happening? What's up here? Is there anything up there? That would be awesome. It's a little... Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Is there anything in here? Let's quickly have a look. So we're looking at that area there. Uh, no iron. Uh, there's a little bit of coal there. There's no uranium. And there's no bauxite. There's absolutely nothing going on in that area. Kind of wonder if we can do something in there. Maybe a forestry industry in here would be awesome as well. Look, it'll look pretty realistic at least. Let's, uh, let's drop that out of the way for the time being. So this is kind of what's going to happen in this area. Um, how are we doing? This road is still being constructed. We've made very little progress over here. Uh, what I might quickly do is I might uh, pop in and just um, pay for that section so at least we can get moving on some of this stuff. That's good. Now let's uh, quickly assign some more construction here. Let's close this guy out. Termoilski, uh, come on in over there. Promotion offs come on in. Let's get them in there as well. Um, all of this other stuff needs to be built as well. Commotion off can go in there. Um, slow and steady. Oh, one thing that I completely forgot about is we need uh, cooling towers. So all of the other stuff is underway, right? Oh, have we done this? Oh, beautiful. That's done. That's still kind of getting built over here, I think. Oh, that section's not even been... Okay, that's okay. Let's find... That's fine. That's fine. We'll... Actually, let's assign it to Termoilski guys. Come and make a make a start on that. And then um, what I'm also pretty keen on is getting our cooling towers in place. We need two cooling towers for this bad boy. Um, so let's, let's quickly place them. I was thinking about it. 
Uh, will we do the super mega duper ones that's like enormous? Oh, and let's not do that. So, what is... I, don't, I have no idea how much it... Well, that's just like... That's painful in terms of pollution. That guy's not so much painful. I'm, I'm kind of wondering what the what the difference is. This is a tiny one compared to this one, which is absolutely massive. We could put our cooling towers back here. Oh, but that'll be in the way. That'll be in the way. That is too big, man. That is too big. Uh, this is a little bit better. I am. Um, I'm not opposed to this cooling tower. So let's do one cooling tower over there, and uh, basically another cooling tower um, over here, and we'll try and make sure that they're also gated. So there we go. So we'll get our cooling towers up in the running, and they're kind of offset. So I kind of like that a little bit. But anyway, that's it. So I'll I'll continue. The, obviously, the construction over here will continue. Um, there's lots of little bits and pieces that needs to happen. Um, all of this is still kind of working. We're kind of managing through this pretty well. What is this uh, incinerator on the other side? I just wanted to quickly check how we're doing with um, with this stuff now. Yeah, we're managing our hazardous waste. This is not moving through quick enough. So I'll definitely need to do a little something about that as well. Um, we'll we'll see about what we're doing with that but all in all pretty good going up to Komoshinovsk over here have a quick look at, at this all of this is still producing at a reasonable pace cannot export mixed waste uh, okay so what we'll need to do is let's drop this a little bit get a little bit more mixed waste going is that thing full that thing's not full so we just have these guys under a little bit too much pressure at the moment I think that's fine um, the construction did happen over here. These guys should be... Oh, that's very happy over here, actually. And if we go back on this side, so why? Still, yeah, very little happiness. So we need to have a bit of a look at this as well. Lots of little issues. Almost 20,000 people. Uh, that's pretty good numbers, I do, if I don't, don't say so myself. Um, yeah, all good, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, um, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Absolutely subscribe to this channel. And tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, what do you think of our new aluminum area? What do you think of our new nuclear power plant? And what do you think of the idea of a mega waste management facility? This area looks pretty good. Um, okay, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.